What's up guys, it's Crazy Dirt Biker here to give you a piece of your medicine for all of you YouTube fiends. I just wanted to make a quick video on my ginormous, huge, baby DCXL. Look how tiny it is. It's so small. But, you pay for the genetics. And this thing is going to be a giant one day. I'm hoping that by the end of next year... The traps on this will be bigger than any trap on here. And there's some big traps on this sucker. I mean, this is just a typical, but it's thriving. This temperature and this weather that we've been having is just amazing for these plants. It's 9 o'clock in the morning right now. It's 80 degrees with 81% humidity. Uh, it's perfect right now for this baby fly trap because we have a lot of overcast. <laughs> The sun's not shining, so it's not getting direct sunlight, which is good, so it could get acclimated. The humidity is just a killer, man. It's I've been working in it. It's horrible, but it's good for these things. <clears throat> so, flytrapstore.com, they have amazing products. Every trap on this thing was opened when I received it, which is amazing. Um... I was going to go about a week before trying to feed it if it didn't eat itself just to try to give it a little boost, some fertilizer, act as fertilizer, try to get it to sprout a little faster. I, I like to feed my plants mostly in the springtime just to help them to take off and uh, other than that if I just find a bug in my house or something I'll feed it to them but other than that I just let them eat on their own. And it's crazy because I woke up this morning to make this video <clears throat> and every trap on this thing was open and if you look the biggest trap on the plant which is smaller than my pinky nail actually caught a fly. You could see the wing sticking out. It's amazing dude that thing actually caught a fly already. I'm so happy for it. <laughs> it I really am. That's awesome. How these little, even these little babies, how they manage to catch bugs. I mean, the size of their traps, it's like amazing. There's actually a tiny little flea bug on that one right now, but that thing's small. So I paid $60 for this thing, but like I said, you're paying for genetics and uh, there's quite a few heads on this thing. I just cannot wait until it gets bigger. It's a little disappointing when you see the picture of what that can be when it's an adult. And then when you receive that, it can be a little disappointing. But uh, I didn't really want to get my hopes up too much. I knew it was going to be a starter plant, so I'm not upset or anything. I still love it. Just going to have to have some patience and take some time with it like I did these puppies. They say you could get two inch traps on these DCXLs and I'm very confident I could get two inch traps on those when the time comes. I mean, I have big thumbs, but these are just typical Venus fly traps. And some of them are huge. They are very big. I got huge traps on here. My climate is just perfect. 80 degrees, 80 high 80s with 80 to high 70% humidity all the time. There's a wasp in that trap. It's just uh, really good weather. I'm, I'm really confident I could get two inch traps out of these in my climate when that thing is a mature plant. So uh, I'll do an update again in a month or two on this thing. And I'm not really making videos anymore every single month, but now that I got that baby, I might continue doing that. I'm not sure. I like to document the plant's growth and see how far it's came over the years and over the course of months and over the grow season. But I can say this was an excellent, excellent year for the Venus flytrap. I can't wait until the DCXL gets bigger. It's just time will tell. And uh, I'll see you next time. Trap life.